Better clean, boys. Take everything that shines and anything what could drink a man blind. Come on, let's show them who's boss. Take up. Come this way, let's flank him. Damn! He saw us! What's in here? <laughs> Something tells me you ain't here punching tickets. Huh. Seems like we made an unplanned stop. I'd better go find out what's holding us up. and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today, what I do every year, it is Desperados 3, a game developed by the Mimimi Productions. So yeah, they have this weird name, but these guys are not really new into the market. They already developed uh, three games, but I think the most well-known games are uh, Shadow Tactics, Blades of Shogun, and the last Winker City of Covers. I don't know any of these games, honestly. I didn't know this developer. But what I knew so far is that the developers are not the same as the first two titles. The first two titles, the first, I mean, Desperados 1 and Desperados 2 were developed by Spellbound Entertainment, which was a different developer. All right, so starting with the setting. So I'm playing the game with native resolution with 75% of resolution scaling. And I'm pretty much using something below the, the low presets. I'm just, I did put everything on low. Uh, shadows on low too. Uh, you can disable shadows, but still I decided to cap it on low because it makes a huge difference graphically. And I decided to keep the textures on a full resolution because um, the textures aren't really that big and can fit inside easily inside a 2GB graphic card. So the requirements aren't really that big. Although these are the results that I got. So again, with my native resolution, playing with minimum settings with shadows set to low, having 75% of resolution scaling and using textures on full resolution, what I got was an average of 35 frames per second with a 1% low of 28, which means that overall the experience was above 30 frames per second. There were a drop or two, but I don't think that, that it is a huge deal for this type of game, since this is a, a strategic game and you can even stop time to think about your decisions. The only exception in here is that if you going to play the game with maximum difficulty, you don't have the ability to stop the time. So you need to have, you know, the cold blood and reactions to just do everything right. And possibly if the game is running lower than 30 frames per second on those sequences, it might be a little bit complicated as you can expect. But Desperados 3 run and it runs pretty well. Even at low settings, the game looks pretty good. The only downside it is the fact that we need to use resolution scaling to 75%. That makes the game very pixelated at long distances. But overall, all the rest of the presets, I mean the textures looks fine and shadow quality, even on low, and despite it is flickering all over the place, it is way better than playing without shadows because all the illumination and the lightning and shadows 
just gets a very bland treatment, so I do fully recommend you to play with shadows, even if you need to reduce the resolution scaling even further. Alright, so that's about it. But since we now know that you can play above 30 frames per second most of the time, you might want to know what the hell is this game. I'm not really sure if you are familiar with Commandos, or if you ever played the Desperados 1 or 2. Well, spoiler alert, I didn't. I haven't played any Desperados, I didn't knew what to expect from this game, honestly. But uh, it turns out that this game it is um, exactly like Commandos. But the difference is, instead of you being inside a thematic of a world war, Inside this game, what you have is a Wild West, and it is quite interesting. I was a little bit afraid that these developers would do a bad job, since these guys are not the same developers as the first two games. Like I told you, this developer team is called Mimimi Productions. Um, they developed two games before, two different games. Um, they did develop games like Shadow Tactics, Blades of Shogun, and The Last Tinker, City of Covers. I don't know any of these games, honestly. So, this is the first time that I'm trying a game from these guys. Although, the... You know, the first two titles from Desperados were developed by a different team, which, called, uh, which was called Spellbound Entertainment. Uh, these guys went into administration, and they were refounded uh, as a Black Forest Games, uh, which now develop very different games. Alright, so... Basically, the... Developer team of the first two games weren't really present into the development to the development of this third game So I was a little bit afraid that people would complain or that the gameplay were very different But according to some research that I've made throughout Google and Steam and some gameplays that I have saw This game it is it is pretty good. I mean it sustains the same it stays on the same type of gameplay, but it seems that it is actually delivering a very, very good gameplay. For people that do enjoy this type of game, this is a good sequel of Desperados. And in fact, I have saw some reviews on the internet, and the scores range from 7 to 9, so it's a pretty respectable uh, result of the reviews. Not only to mention that last year, when this game was on some events like the E3 and games Gamescom, this game won the best strategy game on Gamescom 2019 and it was nominated as one of the best E3 games. Nominated, of course it didn't won, but it was there nominated to take part as one of the best E3 2019. It was also the most wanted game from some Dutchman's, um, I don't know, event. But, I mean, the developers behind these games are from Germany, so, yeah, it, it makes sense, alright? So, it seems to be a very, very good game, anyway. I, I do think that uh, they deserve all the merit. I, I was never into Commando's game, but, uh, honestly, it, this is uh, this is very good. The tutorial, it is very good. I was already into this game while I was doing this benchmark. So, yeah, very good game, indeed. Although, that is one thing that ruins it all. It is its price. I mean, THQ Nordic possibly it's pushing a little bit too much of its price. They are asking $49.99. This is a price for a AAA title. I'm not really sure if Desperados 3 could be considered one. Uh, so, it is not really the price that most of the people were expecting. I've gone to Steam forums to see what what the people were thinking about that, and uh, there are many people complaining about the price. They say that the game is good, but still it is too expensive. It is logical that this game have some high value of quality production, because you have good voice acting, and you have voice on characters, good comedy, good chats, good conversations, I mean, between characters. It is really good, honestly. And it is in, it is going to be released also for PS4 and Xbox One, but I mean, come on, $49.99, it is a little bit too much. Alright, so if you are a fan of Commandos or Desperados, you need to get this game, alright? Even for $49.99, if you really care about this type of uh, strategy games, this is entirely for you and you can spend the money on this game, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. Although, 
if you are not entirely a big fan of these games, uh, you just like to play these games as a, eh, let's play this game because it's fine. Possibly playing 49.99, it is not the best deal in the world. All right, and I should suggest you to wait a little bit for a better price. And when that happens, I'm pretty sure this game will be pretty good. All right, for you, of course. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Desperados. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Cold blunt lime special. Custom stock, custom rounds. On my way. Shall we continue? Keep it cool. Sure, up we go. Mm, my climbing days are behind me, Mr. Cooper. Well, we'll figure something out. Eyes open. Let's get going. Hope you can manage this rope ladder, Mr. McCoy. I prefer Dr. McCoy. I'm sure you do. It's taking them so long. Bastard's probably hiding somewhere. Now, the don't worry. They'll find him. All right. I usually work alone. Let's get started. Eyes on the target. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Eyes peeled. His friend's gonna be looking for him. Big hand knows what she's doing. Sure does. Mm-hmm. Who needs a good killing? <laughs> Need sharpening. Back in. Ooh. You're heavy. On my way. Here goes. The hell? On my way. I got the tools for the job. No objections here. Primed and ready. Let's throw out the door. It'll cost you hook, line, and sinker. You won't feel a thing. Gone. I'll get close and personal. Sorry about that. Let's tuck you in. Someone called for a doctor? <laughs> up we go. What's up? And up. feeling about this hurry up what's with that guy wearing the poncho he ain't gonna move if it ain't necessary and you know that because trust me I know the type no. <laughs> leave their boss to me who needs a shot keep your head down not a problem Got it. I'll take you. <clears throat> You're heavy. Not sure I truck. Let's move you out of the way. Search him real good, you hear? Come on. You taking your time or what? I wouldn't worry just yet. I'm here. Shall we? We need that key for the safe. Let's go about this quiet. I take one, you take the other. Let's keep our distance. 
I can smell it. That sweet, sweet money. It works very fast. Keep it cool. Hmm. Nietzsche. Okay, then. Don't take it personal. Oh, I'm ready. Ambush right on schedule. Up we go. Still here. Gotta hide this one. Let's see what's happening here. Sure thing. Ooh. You're heavy. Okay. The passengers sure could use our help. Why waste time? Let's keep going. We're gonna search your bodies. I can handle that, thank you. Understood. I'm here. Now you're gonna meet Big Ann soon. Aren't she excited? How's it going? Let's get going. Yes. You're a cold bastard, Mr. McCoy. To each his own, Mr. Cooper. I hate me. 